It's probably going to hurt me really bad because I forgot to open the gates before I did this. Ouch. I should have opened the gate. Oh, it's going to kill me. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Sethum and today the plan is I want to tame some some sea creatures. But before I get to it, these are the wyverns that I hatched in the last episode, all grown up, as you can see. And I do have my favorite wyvern, which is at the bottom, the albino one with the red on the wings. And here are the rexes. Um, so out of these, I want to distill their abilities or their stats down to a rex that, or a pair of rexes that have over 9,200 health and 440 something percent damage. I've also finished off the water pen, which took some work. And so now the water part of the base is now enclosed. And I do have this little area here as well, which is where I want to tame some eels or electroporous or whatever they're called. I'm just going to call them eels because it's easier. I have managed to kite a bunch of them into the trap. Um, I have died a couple of times doing so. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I've never ever tamed one of these things. But they always seem to kill me when I was in the deep. So I have noticed that they don't completely stun you anymore. You can move. You do get slowed a hell of a lot. And they do tend to hoard. So yes. I did find this group not far from where my base is. Which was quite lucky I guess. So I know they eat biotoxin or they like biotoxin and they are a passive tame which has me worried but I am close to my base um, and I'm probably gonna go in with barely anything on me so I don't lose stuff. And yeah this is what the base has come to. I have also added the little things on the front because I kept getting annoyed by the water so I will probably turn that into some sort of like little prom type thing. Not entirely sure what to do with it, but we'll see in due time. Uh, I'm going to take some arrows with me. I wonder what my wyvern has on me because I can't remember what I put on it. I think I have the rest of the stuff on my wyvern. Um, the reason for the... Oh, that's not good. And that is why I wanted the arrows. I'm just going to hover here for a bit and see if my sharks can deal with that thing. So it seems like one of those electroporous things has got through the gate, dropped out through the gates. Or found a gap or something and managed to find its way into the main enclosure, so I'm going to have to do something about it. I'm going to have to to kill it. Ow. It's got quite a range on it. There we go. That sorts that problem out. Alright, that's good to know. That's good to know. And that makes me want to tame them even more because I can use them as guard dogs. Which is kind of what my intention is anyways. Okay, so let's see what is happening here. If I can get through, please. That should do. Okay, there's one over there. So, uh, drop all the stuff. I need a spyglass. That will be good. Drop all the spoiled meat. And let me... Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. Brilliant. Okay, um... Where is that thing? Ah! Can I see? No, 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 I don't... No, no, ow! Wow, that has got such a range. 
and it does so much damage. Uh, this is not going to be fun. How am I going to go about taming this stuff? Okay, um, I might need a set of scuba. So, um, where is it? There we go. I'll take that and what? Ready? Oh, come on. Fine, have it that way. Okay, so I can now breathe underwater temporarily until the scuba gear breaks. I think that's where that eel got out. So, maybe I can have a peek. Oh, I can see it. I want to see what level it is. 24. Uh, right, so that guy seems to be somehow outside of the gate. Is there another one here somewhere? Can I see it? I think there's another one in this park, but I don't really want to test my luck just yet. I'm going to put this in the zero slot because that is apparently a passive tame. <clears throat> oh, there's more out there. Oh, no. All right, close the gate. I don't want them to come in. Maybe I can aggro it this... Okay, definitely not a happy eel. Very scary face you just pulled there, buddy. Ah, oh, it's in. Oh, shoot. I, I have to go now. Bye. Is that behind me? Why hasn't it attacked me? I'm definitely going to need scuba flippers. Come on. Right, I think it's probably, I'm guessing it's probably aggroed on the gate. Which is why it didn't kill me. I can see something there. Some sparks. Okay. Um, let me just go and get my flippers. Right, where are they? Where are they? There we go. Aha! I didn't make that same mistake twice. Although I was very tempted. And now the horror commences. Um, where is it? Okay, it's still there. Quickly gamma up so I can see what I'm doing. He seems focused on the gate. Can I get close to it? Please don't bite me. Feed. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, keep biting on that. You're not going to do any damage, so... I wonder how long it takes before I can feed it another bit of biotoxin. I'm half tempted to go and have a closer look to see if it's hungry again. This is probably not going to end well. Oh, uh, why does it not show me? Oh, I gotta. Oh, 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 gotta go. Oh wow, the damage, the hurt. Is it behind me? No. I quite literally pooped myself on that one. I mean, on the bright side, I am in my base, so I do have three beds to spawn at. Probably wait a couple of more seconds before I attempt this again. Okay. Okay, put myself in position. 
now, if it's not hungry, this is probably going to end bad for me. It's hungry. And there's my first eel. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm surprised I didn't die. However, this isn't the first one. I... Well, sorry. This is only the first one. I want more. Just because they're dangerous. Whoa. Don't kill yourself. You're not a land creature. Okay, so I think there's another one somewhere. I'm going to move my shark close to the eel so that guy can guard my shark. My Mooglodon. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I saw one in the taming slash breeding pen, which I have to use yet for breeding. So, oh, this thing is big. You never realize how big they are in water. I do like that, uh, that effect for the game. Definitely, definitely realistic and in the sense that you don't really realize how big these things are. Okay. Um, so where's the other one? I'm just going to go and have a look around this way. And these flippers are annoying. Okay, quickly have a dip. And let's see. As you can see, there are some gaps. I tried to the best of my abilities to... to cut out as many gaps as possible, but there were certain areas I couldn't. So maybe it came out this way. Maybe. No? Okay. Probably long gone by now. So can I... feed it biotoxin from here? Yes, I can. Come on. Yes, I got my next eel. It's a small level, but it'll do. It'll do. Come here. I think I saw another one out there. I'm going to quickly shut the gates. Take this guy to his friend. Which is somewhere around there. Do you know what? Second deal, and I haven't yet died. That is promising. Whoa. Stop. Darn, you're big. Jeez. You're huge. I like this one, though. I like the colors on this one. Very pretty. Come on. And I go, um... Now, if I remember correctly, I did see one just floating. Oh, rubber banding. Not good for this kind of tame. And I was, uh, uh, bleh. as I was saying, I'm quite focused on what I'm doing here. Um, as I was saying, I did spot one just outside of my base. Now, the question is, how am I going to get it in? My health isn't so great. And I don't think I can... Take any damage from it. This rock is annoying now. So, I'm going to need a crossbow to hit it once and hopefully pull aggro on it and uh, lead it into the base. Or at least that's the plan. I mean, I am going to use a crossbow that I would rather not lose. And I guess the reassurance here is if I do die, it will be close to my base, so I can try and recover it. Try being the keyword. There it is. Uh, quickly scan my surroundings, make sure that there's nothing. Nothing to surprise us. Alright, can I hit it from here? Don't want to get too close to it. Oh, that was a miss. Uh, I think it's angry. Okay. 
And if I'm not mistaken, there's a shark following me as well. Is that right? Yes. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I better get to land really quickly. Oh, that eel's fast. Oh, wow. Oh, that was close. Okay, so it's in here. Now what I'm going to do is try and... Oh, great, I'm hungry as well. Uh, try and go around the outside and lock the gates. Lock it in. And that should be a sealed deal, hopefully. That's if it's not found its way out again. Ay, yay, yay. Okay, never mind. That was an epic fail. Oh, this is not fun. Oh well, that was to be expected. Okay, so it's knocked me out. It's probably going to kill me. Yes, it has. Wow, what a surprise. Okay, okay, so that's not the bed I want to go. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> um, go and recover my stuff, I guess, and see what that eel is up to. Because I'm now officially worried that it's attacking my stuff. Because it's in the wrong... It's in the wrong side of the water base. Okay, I can see my uh, my little beacon of hope. So, let's see what the situation is. Ooh, it's close to my body. No, 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 no. Go away, go. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, the hurt. Okay, I didn't do that much damage, so it's a low level. That is somewhat promising. In... In a way, I guess, because I do want some high-level ones as well. Because they'll probably die pretty quick if something gets in my base. Which is why I want them to kind of keep stuff out. Okay, I've got my stuff back. Uh, ooh. This is a bit of a nightmare situation. I still want to tame it. I don't want to kill it. I just don't want it to go on that side. So, where is our electrical friend? Because I cannot see him. And I'm a bit worried now. Maybe he's on this side? Yes, he is. Oh, good. Now he's just gone. Okay, so that's how they get in and out. Um, that's something to keep in mind, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely that little dino gate that doesn't cover the whole gap. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. Ooh. Ooh. What's it doing? Uh, okay, right, it's... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I just kept pressing E like mad, hoping to, to get it. Oh. I'm just going to close these gates. You don't want any unwanted company. Right, so that's my third one. So I think I've got a hang of how to do this now. So I'm gonna try... Try being the keyword here. I'm gonna try and get some high level ones. Okay, so I have lured a high level one here. And I'm trying to get a read on its level which is not very successful uh, very briefly there but yeah it is a a good level eel um, how am I gonna do this because this is probably gonna kill me in one shot um, that didn't work out very well 
kind of sounds like a lightsaber. Where is it? Okay. Something tells me it's gone out of the taming pen through this gap. Is that right? Okay. I cannot see it. Where is it? Oh well, that's far. Yeah, there it is. That thing is pretty fast. Yep, it's coming. I don't. Never mind. Time to go. It's probably going to hurt me really bad because I forgot to open the gates before I did this. Ouch. I should have opened the gate. Oh, that's going to kill me. Yeah. I expected that one. So. Uh, time to respawn, get my stuff back and try and tame it again. I have died so many times, it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, um... I'm still trying to figure out how to get that guy. I'm, I'm hoping he's still in the taming pen, because I did not shut the gate, did I? I mean, not like they can't get out. They've clearly shown me some weaknesses to it. Go and get my things. And on the bright side, I'm close to land. I'm close enough to reach it. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. I want that, 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 and that. And I think everything else is Garbo. Don't want that. Okay. Uh how am I going to do this? I'm just trying to minimize the amount of times I die. Maybe if I lure it over here. Do you want to come? Yes, you do. And I'm not going to reach... Oh, I meant to say I'm not going to reach landing time, am I? Do you know what? It didn't do that much damage. I was expecting a bit more. Okay, it's down there. Now, the reason I'm trying to bring it over to this side is because I want to go around and shut that gate. But the eel is not being compliant. And it just went out. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. This... Might just work. Uh, hello, friend. You want some food? Might as well die giving you food, eh? Yep. Yep. And I died again. What a surprise. So I still have one, two more beds to respawn. Two more times I can respawn before I need to wait for the respawn timer. But... On that occasion, I did manage to feed it. So, time to go and get my things and try and feed it again. Do you know what? I, if I can get this guy, I'd be so happy. Let's see. Okay. I was hoping to land on land, but whatever. There's a second beacon. Um, quickly assess the situation. I think that's my old stuff. Yeah. The eel is down there. Um, quickly get my stuff. I'm not being particularly fussy now. Uh, with that dangerous thing down there. Can I, I, 
I I kind of want to just charge in and feed it, but because it will attack me, I do want to get close to land. Or at least that's the plan, anyways. Come on, feed, 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 feed. Where are you? What? Uh, oh. Oh wow. I killed it. It's because it came out of the water, isn't it? Oh, darn it. Bad deal. Bad deal. You can't walk on land. Why? You killed me three or four times. Oh, this is not going my way. I am I am so salty now. Um yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright. Um, whilst looking for eels, I have bumped into an army of Megalodons. Making it more interesting here, hey? So I'm trying to kite them into that little portion, and I know they cannot get out, and then eventually kill them. I do wonder if there's a good level there. But it's not the best time to, to search. Oh, so out of all that bunch of sharks, I just managed to bring one in. What level are you? Yeah, definitely not a keeper. Come on, Sharky. I don't know why I expected that to work. Aha! That's one shark sorted. Time to bring in the other ones. See if I can see their levels. 20. Right, three of them are coming. So, that guy's swimming away. I'm panicking a bit. Oops. Sorry, Cliff. Okay, levels, levels, levels. Nah, don't want you. Oh, 140. Interesting. Okay, which ones are in? Um, I have no clue which one is which. Oh. I think, if I remember correctly, hold on a second. That's the 140, that's right. So the darker one is the high level shark. That one can die. Now, ideally I would want to close that gate, but I am not going in there with two sharks, three, if I count the one outside. Okay, down to one shark, trying to trank it, been shooting at it for some time now. Oh, it's down. It's down. I think it's down. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. What are you? Alright. Okay. Hold on a bit. Yeah, you're a male. So we have two females and a male. That is good. Good, good, good. I can start breeding these at some point. Um, now it's time to go and get some meat. And thankfully, I have my wyvern next to me. Uh, there should be brontos around here-ish. I would have thought. There normally are brontos. There's one right over there. I'm going to try and tame it up on prime meat as much as possible. But any meat will do. I mean, I'm not going to use megalodons very often. But I still want to breed them. So, I'm happy with any meat, stupid pegos. And there's a Bronto egg. Alright, need to <laughs> need to sort these stupid turtles out. Okay, come on. How many pegos? 
What the heck? Wow. Okay, okay. Uh, still looking for eels. I've not seen anything, so I'm moving on to the next best thing. And that is an anglerfish, which is just f uh, swimming around here. I'm going to have to be very careful. I don't want to get killed. I am away off from my base. I mean, it's not far if I have or use a sea creature, but I don't have one and I'm not using one. I'm not risking it. Ah, there's another one close by. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a bit of a problem now. I need to kill one of them. Preferably the low level one. Now on the bright side, I've got that big whale there which will provide me with prime fish meat, which should help out with the tame. I just want to kill this thing. Seems to be swimming away, so I think I'm happier now. There's a shark and a plessy. Please don't go into the depth. Yeah, yeah, keep trying to bite me. You won't get me. There's two plessies. That is not promising. If this thing starts swimming downwards, I, I'm screwed because I can't follow it. I just wish it would get knocked out already. And it's knocked out, and I've got company. So the plan here is now I'm going to try and knock this guy out, and hopefully I don't get killed. Because if I do, that will pretty much mean... Oh, it was a low level. I was going to say if I get killed, that pretty much means I've lost all my stuff because I won't be able to find my corpse anymore. So... um. Just having a look around. I, I'm a bit worried because there's two Plessies down there. I don't think I'm deep enough for them to attack me. I mean, I didn't bring any meat with me, so I'm going to use the shark that I just killed. Well, actually knocked out. Because I haven't quite killed it yet. Well, time to turn you into meat for our tame and I do hope that I can do this without narcotics because I don't have any with me come on die good and there's my meat See, I came so ill-prepared, I didn't even bring a sword or anything. <laughs> so I'm having to punch the meat out of the shark. Okay, stamina is running low. So if I need to run away, I am in a lot of trouble. Okay, where's my... Where's my fish? Uh, angler... Where are you? I want to get to that and get the prime meat from that. Um, okay. Found my fish in the end. And it's nearly tamed. So I did use some some prime meat from the that whale creature thing. I'm not going to try to remember what it's called now because I'm a bit more worried about what is around me. And I did get killed by, oh, killed, attacked by another shark, which I managed to successfully kill and fend off. That provided a bit more meat as well. So it's not fully tamed on prime fish meat, but it will do. So I'm just going to wait for this guy to tame up. At the moment, I haven't got any source of prime fish meat, so um, this is basically the longest portion of the way. 
because up until now it worked. I, I managed. I mean that uh, that Basilosaurus wasn't far off from me, but now it's gone quite far. I don't know where it's gone to, so I can't get more fish or prime fish meat from it. And so now I'm having to do with, well, the least favorable option, just normal fish meat. Which isn't as effective as the prime stuff. Come on. And on the bright side, I didn't need narcotics, so that is good. I've got myself an anglerfish. And the even better bit is I don't need a saddle to ride it. Oh, well, this is quite nice. I like it. Yeah, I just wanted to, to pick on that stupid Plessy that's been taunting me the whole time. Let's pick up all the meat from here. Now, this feels a lot better. I'm still not going to go out in the open with a mount because I don't want to lose it. But it's pretty cool. I like it. There we go. I pooped for joy. It's really nice. I like it. I, I do do like this new creature. Okay, so I'm going to go and take this guy back to base. Uh, I'm probably going to keep him as another guard dog to back up the eels. Just want to see how far I was from base. Ay, yay, ay, that's quite far. Bearing in mind, I didn't use any sort of mount. Wow. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have found my body if I died. And there we go. There's a pillar of death. A beam of death. And you'll see why in a bit. Um, you can already see the sparks. I have managed to find another high level eel and bring it over to this area. And it has killed me once already. Can I feed you? Are you stuck enough for me to feed you? Ah, oh, didn't mean to do that. That was bad. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, where? <laughs> let's see where it is. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was really bad. Uh, okay, it's not in here, so I'm guessing it's somewhere out there. I would like to try and kite. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Stay away. What? Rubber banding killed me. Darn it. Well, back to the old drawing board. Now, ideally, I do want to get two high level ones because the idea behind it is I'm going to breed those at some point in the future and create my own army of electrophoruses or eels. I'm just going to call them eels because it sounds better. I was debating going on the outside for a second, but then I realized, no, there's pegos and a lot of other bad stuff out there. So I'm going to stick to the compounds of my walls. Okay, hold on a second. Something's happening here. It seems to be on the inside. Uh, bad gate. Don't do this to me. Okay, okay. It's still in. Quickly go and get my stuff. Um, okay, what? I need that. I want that, that. Uh, I think I've got everything. Oh, no. And everything else has got me. Ouch. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to die again. Oh, at least I'm going to try and feed you this time. Where are you? Am 
my health is not so so well um oh this is not pleasant uh might as well try and feed it if i'm gonna die how it just went in come on open up Okay, okay. Can I feed it? Can I feed it? Can I feed it? Right, I fed it once. And according to the taming calculator, I need to feed it three times. That would be the second time. Quickly go on dry land and just stay there. I guess I'll punch the box for entertainment purposes. Pick some flowers. Try and not be curious about its hunger levels. Um, hold off for a second. Although, curiosity is killing me. Can I feed it now? Can I feed it now? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can feed it quickly. Oh, saw this. I'm just going to go in. Oh, that was lucky. <sighs> okay, so the first high-level eel I have. Now, I need to figure out what this is. If it's a male or female. Uh, so I can then go and try and find the opposite sex for breeding purposes. Well, here we are coming to the end of another video. Now, I did find another... Another high level eel which I did tame off camera, uh, uh, the episode is probably long enough as it is, I don't want to make it any longer. And I have also found another anglerfish, quite a high level, which I have tamed, so now I have a good pair of anglerfishes and a good pair of eels to work with. That is it for this episode, folks. I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to let me know by smashing that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on this video. And until next time, stay safe, folks.